What's up, what's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to TD Fans Talk. As usual, you know, at least once a day, you know, when I'm running an errand or doing something, I come live to y'all, and y'all know the rules. I don't really comment on the chat section because I'm focused on the role, but it shouldn't stop me from talking to y'all and driving at the same time. And I just wanted to talk about this, um, this, um, Giseki situation, man. It is a situation to, um, for us to make sure that we keep our eyes, eyes open on because he's just not balling. And when I say not balling, I mean, it's too early for us to be sitting here saying what he is, whether he's a bust or he's that guy or he's not. No, that ain't what this is about, man. Uh, let me make sure I'm good. All right, um, that's not what this is about. I'm simply talking about, is he going to emerge as the number one guy for Miami? Or is Nick O'Leary basically just stealing all the shine and pretty much going to take it? That's a real possibility at this point because Nick O'Leary has done nothing but been, been great for the Miami Dolphins in, in the offseason so far. He's played some great football, catching touchdowns, catching balls, blocking, you know, um, not missing his assignments. All you hear is great things from O'Leary. Jaseki, on the other, other hand, is hit and miss. And one thing that stood out today was the simple fact that, man, it's raining out here and I got to run in the store. You know, the wife sent me on a little errand to grab some tomatoes and limes and stuff like that. So it is what it is. But um, but um, it's, it's interesting because Jaseki's been hit and miss, man. He's been hit and miss. And it's like, come on, man. I, I, we need you to emerge as the guy. We drafted you to be the guy, the next big tight end. And I'm not saying that he's not going to but it's early, man. It's really early to determine whether he is or not. But we can't sit here and ignore that Nick O'Leary has been playing very well and pretty much earning it. Nick O'Leary's been earning it, man. Yeah, I'm back, Chad. You already know. What up, True? But, yeah, Nick's been earning it, man. And at the end of the day, Nick is getting more and more reps. And what doesn't help Jaseki? another tight end went out. I think it was Clive. Clive went out today. And that means more reps for the tight ends, but this is an opportunity for for um man, it stopped raining. Let me hurry up and get in the store. Um, but this is an opportunity. It's a huge opportunity for um Jaseki to actually actually do something. You know, he's gonna get more reps. We got a tight end out. But come on, man, he got to have more highlights than what's been happening, man. They've been targeting him. It's just nothing spectacular has really been coming out of it. So we got to see. We got to keep our eyes on this. But at the end of the day, like I told y'all before, man, I told y'all this before. I'm not that, it's not that really, it's not really that big of a deal for me for the simple reason that I'm not falling in love with Jaseki anyway. I believe in him and I think he's that guy. But I'm not falling in love with Jaseki in, in regards to as long as we got a good tight end, that's all that matters to me. As long as we got a tight end that's actually doing the job, that's all that matters to me, man. We just need a guy that we know that we can rely on and we're good with. But I just hope that Jaseki doesn't turn out to be a bust. I hope that he turns out to actually turn this thing around and do very well, man. What about Dwayne Allen? I mean, we still not hearing many reports. I mean, some of these guys are going to be, you got to understand, some of these guys are going to be more favored as um as blockers. So right now, we're not hearing that much about it. But again, I'm not too impressed. You won't, you won't really be able to give a true assessment of the blocking game of tight ends until preseason. The games. Practice, even if they hit their assignment, you're not going to get any reports. People aren't going to talk about how that tight end is holding his own on blocking schemes and stuff like that. You're just not. Man, where are the tomatoes? That should be simple for me to find. Um, but you're not going to get that type of information. Oh, there they go. Just the general tight end blocking. Um, they're not going to talk about that even if they do a good job doing it. So at the end of the day, you got to wait on preseason, see it live for us to determine, you know, if some of these guys, yeah, man, it's one close to the house. This is when I don't want to go to um, um, Whole Foods and stuff like that. 
I just saw him come get me something real quick over here. But yeah, man, they, they got to get their act together, man. Jaseki got to get his act together as far as catching the ball. I'm solely talking about literally catching the ball. Where the little bags at, man? Oh, here they go. I'm, to, I'm solely talking about catching the ball. And then they had an Oklahoma drill. And I, it's, it's, it's getting embarrassing, man. He pretty much got ate up. He, he got driven back to his starting point. That's not a good sign. See, all these reports, I was excited for Jaseki because all of these reports were talking about, what up, Ron? All these reports were sitting here talking about Jaseki put on like 20-something pounds. You could tell he's been hitting the weight room. He's bulkier and all this and all of that. Man, it doesn't seem like that really. My bad, bro. I got a in the way. Just trying to make sure I get a good, to, good tomato for the wife. All right, that one's good. Um, he lacks confidence. It's something, man, but I don't know what it is, but literally, you in Oklahoma drills, the coaches take notice to that type of stuff. You're in Oklahoma drills and you getting pushed back to your starting point? That's just not good, man. All right, where the lines at? It's just not good, man. You getting pushed back to your starting point. That means you got you didn't get beat on, on the Oklahoma drills. You got destroyed. You got destroyed. You basically lost every bit of leverage that you had. Bullied. Dominated you. It's embarrassing. I mean, how do you think this man feels? He has to feel embarrassed. Oh, Lord, do I have to buy this whole bag of limes? Oh, I should have went to Sam's and got lines, man. But yeah, man, it's embarrassing. Let me see what y'all talking about. Um, Jaseki works out with the receivers. He need to be on them trenches. Find them deals, bro. I try, man. I try my best. O'Leary, our guy. It looks like it's so far, far, man. And he put on weight. That's what I'm saying. That's what upsets me in this matter. The man put on weight. He put on freaking weights, man. Oh, man. I don't like these lines. It made me go to another store. The man put on freaking weight, man. And it still didn't matter, man. That's, that's, man, he gonna get me mad. He really gonna get me mad, man. What's up, John? I see you. I still say we should give Dez Bryant a workout. <laughs> All these wide receivers and now y'all talk about a Dez Bryant? Come on, man. Who did he go up against? Man, I read it earlier on my earlier live stream. Go check out the first live stream I did today. I read it on there. It was actually one of the earlier part of the video. So go check it out, man. Go check it out. That means he's not that strong at all. At all. Really? He is who he is. Call a spade a spade. You're right, um, Gavin. I just hate calling a spade a spade when the card is still being made. You know, I, I I know what you mean, though. A spade is a spade, but it's just too early for me to automatically just write the kid off. It's still early in camp. I mean, I'm holding out hope for Jaseki, man. Talking about Mike Jaseki. Yes, man. Make sure um check the ingredients. <laughs> Dad's career over. We don't need him. Mike Jaseki has no upper strength at all. And that's a problem, man. Don't forget the chips. Ahoy, cookie CD. Nah, man, that's carbs and sugar, man. I'm trying to lose weight, man. I've been actually, this last week, I've been at a standstill. Y'all know I've been dropping weight. I done dropped over 30 pounds so far, but I've been at a standstill because my family was in town. We were going out. We were doing this, doing that, eating any and everything. And now nah, let me stop lying. I ain't at a standstill. I gained two pounds, but that's still good. For everything that we did, that's still good. So now I got to get back on that journey, and now I got a 15-pound block that I'm going to drop off and lose these 15 pounds over the next 20 to 25 days. That's my next goal, 15 more pounds in about 20 to 25 days. I'll do it, man. Is RG3 available? I have no idea. I mean, it wouldn't matter for us. Um, uh, try fasting. I do fast. I fast every morning. I mean, um, I fast every morning, you know, say, um, say my prayers. And um, have and enjoy my private relationship with God. I try to do that every morning, and um, that helps a lot. And then afternoon, I um, may have a little snack or something, and I'm really heavy on dinner. So I just take in 
less carbs than uh, my body um, basically works off. And that's what's helping me lose the weight. Just taking less carbs and your body um, works off each day. It's that simple. Right now I'm at about a 1700 carbs per day diet and my body and everything that I do, I'm pushing well over 2000 carbs that I'm working off every day. And the weight's coming off. And, and the truth is, this is without primary workout, workout. I don't even work out, work out anymore. After I got in that accident, um, my body, certain areas have been hurting and stuff, and I haven't even really been working out, but I've been still losing the weight, man. Um, you look good, TD, trying to. Um, this sun has been killing me, man, and my skin. Nick O'Leary isn't even making the team. Matthew, if Nick O'Leary keeps playing like this and he don't make the team, well, let me, I guess the better question is, what makes you think he's not making the team? I'll leave it at that. Now, don't get me wrong. We still have to get to the point of blocking. See how O'Leary does in the blocking game? Because he's balling in the passing game right now. He's getting all the first team reps. Might I add that as well? He's getting all first team reps. He's been balling out there in the passing game. And we all know blocking is going to be a big factor but we're gonna see in the um preseason games that's where it's gonna matter we got you know about a week away from preseason games y'all this thursday night i'm gonna be streaming the hall of fame game on my channel live y'all know how i do it the first game of the season we're gonna be talking dolphins we're gonna be talking that game i'm gonna be giving y'all some play-by-play -play coverage and we're gonna have some fun thursday night y'all tune in this td fans talk hall of fame game you already know it's your boy peace